to okay, but, bro. <laughs> it's not. It's just. It, it's just crazy, bro, bro. Like it's just crazy. Like these days, bro. The product of my semen, Jonathan Coachman. Is just people are really just out here and like really just in it for the fucking money, bro. I swear to God. Cause guess what, fellas? We have another red pill grifter. We have another one. I swear to God. See now, I've been seeing this video making its rounds, of course, all over YouTube and all over my feed, right? But it's from a channel named Pop uh, Popalit it. Uh, Popolitics, yeah, it's some ass name like that. So I think this channel is ran by like a media company. I honestly believe that because like the production on this, but it only has like 25k subscribers, and this video has 90k you know views on it, right? And like the video is titled "Why Gen Z and Millennials Are No Longer Dating." I can see where this is going. I can already see see where this is going, and it's just like you know, it's like a halfway decent, you know, it's a pretty looking you know chick, right? and she's gonna be saying the same shit as like the red pillars be saying watch if you're a single girl out here in these streets and you're thinking am i crazy or are these guys like not even wanting to date and hook up let alone get married am i the problem are we why these men don't want to get married Ugh. i have good news you see what I'm saying? This is like this is a new like this is not new information, my man. Why are you all over her comment section right now, bro? Honestly, cuz like dude, if you just scroll through these comments, dude, it's all men like, you know, like Ryan, Mountain Biker for Life, Charles, Jasper, Red JW, Danny. These are all dudes, right? Okay, so let me just sum up some of this comment section. Hi, uh, I am a man in my uh, whatever age, and uh, I can't find uh, any bitches to date. That's literally the comment section. That's the only thing that like these types of videos attract nowadays. It just attracts guys that want to bitch and complain about everything. That's pretty much it, bro. Hold on. Now, uh, let's see if she ever says anything new, though. News and bad news. The good news is, you're not crazy. The bad news is, it's worse than you thought. The very minuscule amount of kingpin level good men, the ones that are actually husband material, are almost certainly already married, about to be, or, or here's your very grim reality check, rotting away to near extinction. <laughs> So, not only is she grifting off the fucking red pill bullshit, 90% uh, of you niggas ain't shit. Like, the fucking, like, none of you are even worth even bothering to even look at. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> It's so fucked, bro, because, I, like, I do I do kind of believe the fact that most of these guys really aren't, like, really worth even dating. And, um, and, like, uh, a lot of these chicks aren't either, but, you know what I'm saying, but, but, like, uh, even still, if, like, you're, like, a fat, ugly chick, you're still gonna have a phone full of guys. And, and, like, and, like, that's just, like, a sad reality, honestly. There goes our last man. Oh, my God, I hate Alex Clark. She's so dramatic. Am I? Is it me? Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. Maybe I am. Turns out, the large majority of men 18 to 30 years old are single by choice. You're not- It's just like, dude, like none of this shit is new, is new information, bro. Like if you're watching this and like you, and like you participate in these types of spaces, this is a new information to you, bro. You see now, here's the thing though. Uh, the reason that like I'm making this video is that, is to explain to you that you need to do something about it. Like you've already seen all the, like the uh, videos, ex like, uh, like uh, talking about the same shit over and over and over again, bro. You need to figure out what you're gonna do about it what are you gonna do to you know help yourself out you know start up your own family and, and uh, all that what are you planning to do that's what I'm saying crazy after all don't believe me a new Pew research study found that 63% of men don't want to pursue any sort of relationship with women that means serious or casual they literally feel no motivation to leave their house Period. You know that. Uh, even though that, like, she just claimed that, you know, like the good qu uh, quality man is already taken and or you know non-existent. So it's like she's 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 basically just addressing the losers right now. That's what she's talking about. She's talking about the losers that don't do shit. Things are bad when guys think a booty call is too much work. <laughs> well, I mean, low key it is, but, but, but whatever. The evidence points to some very specific problems. I've seen multiple conservative commentators speculate about what they think is the root of this shift, and no surprise, they're wrong. Let me tell you something about 99% of female commentators on the right who talk about dating, culture, and relationships. Hardly any- Okay, 
my man uh okay see now i do okay see this is where i have to stop you right here i will never take dating advice from like a woman why are you Stop watching these females uh, talking about this shit. Many of them have had significant real world experience. As I continue on with this video, okay. With dating, culture, and relationships. Yeah, they but, think they're too highbrow for dating apps. We're disgusting, and I hate you. They like, dude, uh, dating apps are cancer. Get rid of it. Marry the first or second guy they've made eye contact with, and their understanding of what it's actually like out here is, hate to say it, no I don't, derived from trad wife Twitter accounts secretly run by gay men trying to catfish Straight ones. I know. All that whole trad wife movement is just cringe, honestly. I know why men have lost all incentive to pursue any type of companionship with anyone with a heartbeat. And I think we should all be very perturbed about what this means for future generations. And no, the Man, all this doom and gloom is making me bored. Anyways, guys, so yeah, you so yeah, you get the whole fucking point. It's uh it, it's not like a grift, but really this is like a I'm just like uh, I'm just gonna take a wild ass guess that like a media company is is like behind this because it's like they have 25k su subscribers and like they seemingly just came out of fucking nowhere. I think it's just like yeah, she has like multiple camera angles and all that shit, and, I, and I'm like, bro, she's she, she's just talking about pop pop culture and all that, so it's really not like a grift. But if you do talk about like that like these types of topics of you know on why men and women aren't dating and all that bullshit or for uh, whatever reason it's popular and it, it gets views so there is a problem it's just that i don't think people are willing to actually do something about it we just want to sit back and bitch and complain about everything and you know not actually fix anything so yeah so that's like my uh, issue with this whole type of conversation in like the whole red pill space it's just like what the fuck are you gonna do about it like yeah uh yeah uh, things are bad what about it do something about it bro man up come on go find a hobby or something bro come on bro but like what are you doing bro come on bro do something like find a find, like find like find any other reason to wake up in life because like okay so like a man's purpose back then was his family and i am okay with that like i will like i will generally wake up in the morning uh, every day if i had a family like that but i'm like 21 years old and i'm not thinking about marriage at all i'm not even thinking about having a fucking girlfriend like you, know, you feel me like really well like i am truly thinking about like all the time is really just doing youtube and streaming and you know like you know and like making fitness content and like just vlogging it and like uh and uh all that shit and like just making money online and just you know starting on my own company and brand and everything and, and like i'm just thinking about work, work 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 that's literally all that i'm thinking about right now bro i don't care about a, a fucking relationship and it's fucking weird i i i, 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 I don't know anyways bro so that so like so that's kind of like half of the fucking problems that i got myself but what are you gonna do to do but what are you going to do to solve it because i'm actually getting off my ass and doing something you know i found a purpose other than you know family uh i want bentley i want money you, you feel me that's my purpose so okay so what did you learn from this video is that yes there are problems with dating and relationships and we should already know that by now ever since like 2020 or like you know maybe even 2019 or maybe more or maybe even like 2018 like like you should have known and instead of sitting here on the internet all day talking back and forth, fucking, you know, spitballing uh, ideas and bullshit, uh, how about, like, you actually do something about it? You get what I'm saying? So, hey, man, if you enjoyed my video, if you liked my video, and, and, if, you, and, and if I inspired you in any type of way to take action of your own fucking life, uh, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.